I want to show you how I'm preparing these pieces for collage. These are old collages that came from maybe eight by eight or 10 by 10, you know, small pieces on paper. I, I sanded the front, so you can probably see, see the marks of the sanding. So I sanded them with a power sander, cut them into smaller sizes, and then I soaked them. And I've actually soaked these overnight, but it only takes, I don't know, you can soak them for 20 minutes or something, and that's fine. I keep a spray bottle of water handy just in case they start to dry out as I'm working on them. So here's the deal. I'm taking the paper, which is the substrate, off the back. And because these are both paint and collage, it's a little delicate to take the paper off uh, without having them fall apart. So usually I want just a little bit of the paper on the back because otherwise, like here, I'm pulling that off. I know that that's just gonna break. It can be pretty delicate. I keep paper towel handy. One thing you can do to ensure that the surface is gonna stay intact is coat it in matte medium, just one layer, after sanding, let it dry completely and then and then soak it. And that'll give you, you know, a little protection against a complete disassembly of your piece. Like here, that's that would be a little stronger with matte medium on it. So you can always resort to rubbing off some of the paper. It's nice if it comes off in a nice sheet, but you risk taking too much off that way. So that's a really delicate layer of paint there. I'm gonna see if this one will come off a little more easily, just so you can see what that looks like. Yeah, this is coming off a little more easily. So these pieces are gonna be used for collage. So if I wreck it, like here there's a tear, big deal. I could always put it back together on a collage that I'm making. Why am I taking off the back of the paper? Why not just take the piece and use it as is? Uh, I like the way this process distresses the piece. I like those little bits of tearing. And just from a material standpoint, I like the the weight of it, the thinness. There, so ideally you want just a little bit of that paper fiber on the back um, just for strength. And then if you rub it even more, you can get more of the paper fiber off, but you kind of risk tearing, which is not the end of the world. Here's a piece that I've already peeled taken apart and let it dry. So it has this kind of crispy aspect and where there's collage, you'll feel it's a little heavier and where it's just kind of a layer of paint with a little bit of the paper backing, it's a little lighter. One more thing I wanna show you is some found papers, literally found on a beach, on an island in the Bay of Exploits in Newfoundland. Uh, it was a bundle of cartons for a fishery. I found it on the beach and started pulling apart the individual cartons. On some of them, I started pulling the back of the paper away just because I wanted to take some home with me. I thought, oh, this is just what I do in my studio. So these might end up in collage. This is from the Baffin Fisheries. And look at how many languages. That's Inuit, obviously French, Chinese? I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. Anyways, I thought it was pretty interesting. This inspiration came after the fact of doing this with my own pieces. But sometimes that's just, to me, how inspiration works. I start making stuff and then I see something that it connects to rather than the other way around. 